Okay, this is just a little uh, demo of the HP touchpad running Cyanogen Mod 10 with the uh, one of the newer versions, uh, 4.1.2 ice cream sandwich. Since I've installed this, I've noticed I'm getting about twice the battery life I used to. So they've really streamlined uh, the CPU usage and shut stuff when it's uh, shut down or in standby mode. Um, let's go ahead and go through some of the features here. First off, uh, they have fixed the camera. It is working well. Uh, step picture here. You're basically just seeing me wave at the camera here as uh, it's facing up towards the ceiling here. And uh, you got all your different settings and everything you can go through here. Uh, scene settings, night, backlight, portrait, and everything. But uh, all seems to be working pretty good. Uh, so, let's see, go back to the home here. Um, the other thing that they've fixed is the microphone, which lets you interact with uh, Google Now, which works pretty well. Let's give it a try. Do I need an umbrella today? No, rain is not expected today in Green Acres. The forecast is 81 degrees and clear. All right, so the microphone seems to be working, which is really good. So the microphone and camera appear to be fixed. Um, one of the things I wanted to touch on in this video, it has nothing to do with a touchpad specifically, but it's a great app called Utter that I found uh, that works really well. It's kind of a Siri replacement on Android, if you want to call it such. Uh, I'll give you a couple ideas of what it's capable of doing here. Yes, John. Translate to German. This is just a test of the HP touchpad. This is nur ein Test des Haptuchpad. So, pretty cool. No further interaction needed, no having to translate and click little buttons or anything. So, uh, I really like that for translating stuff into a different language. Um... You can also use it for opening programs, so let's give uh, Netflix a try here. Yes, John. Open Netflix. Open Netflix. So it appears they have the hardware acceleration working as well. In here I have no problems playing Netflix or YouTube videos. Let's see what we've got here. Um, Star Trek Voyager. Just something that was played recently. Bring it up and see how well it works. Deactivate the children's alcoves. Right now. So as you can see, the video is working correctly. Is there a problem? So let's go back to home here. Yes, John. Open YouTube. Open YouTube. And we'll give one of the videos on here a try. Smarter Every Day. Here's a plug to a fantastic uh, channel on YouTube. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Meet Ella and Levi. Of course, now we have, have ad advertisements. And, don't know how and or skip where to it. Start now, go full screen here. And probably hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So we're in my daughter's bathroom. As you can see over here in the corner here, we I are playing on HD. I have been informed that there's a spider that, uh, well, I'm the dad. That's what I do. I slay spiders. And so... So Netflix is working. Uh, I've just got a few home screens set up. One with uh, just a widget here with the weather on top that you can click to get detailed weather and such. Um, swipe across here. Oh, I have to touch the screen. To calendar. Uh, I got a Facebook widget installed here, just my Facebook feed, an empty page, uh, bookmarks, and back to the main home screen. Of course, everyone asks me if it's an iPad, and I say no, but uh, you can dumb it down and make it an iPad with a simple swipe of the screen. There we go, iPad. Nothing but icons. No widgets, no nothing, so now we have a dumb iPad. <laughs> uh, let's see, back to home. And now let's check out uh, just some standard photo browsing. I already had this open, I guess, so... Reacts very well, very quick. All these pictures, by the way, were taken with uh, my Galaxy S3. In fact, that's what I'm using at this very moment to record this uh, video of the touchpad. I mean, the lighting and everything indoors, like this was a grocery store, I mean, the massive wall of M&Ms. But uh, S3 takes some great pictures. All right, back to the home. 
And I think that just about does it. I mean, you've got just about every app that the uh, iPad would have on it, loaded by, uh, you know, in the App Store. They're pretty close neck and neck now with uh, all the major apps being used on both of them, as well as uh, some that are just for the iPad, some are just, you know, for Android. So it's kind of back and forth, but really, really getting close with the App Stores now. And I really, really love this HP Touchpad. I've been using it almost on a daily basis since I picked it up for 150 bucks. Uh, two years ago and thanks to the guys at CyanogenMod for uh, keeping this thing alive